everyone, Itane's here. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Angels of Death. Last time, I think, yeah, no, we actually beat episode two. So we're going to go on to episode three. And the last thing that happened in episode two was Zach passing out from the poison and the vitamins, I believe. I think mostly the poison, obviously. But uh, let's keep going and see if he actually survives. I'm opening my Coke. I haven't opened it yet. I forgot. Okay. Yeah, will I read? I don't know. It kind of hurts my throat to read all of those and stuff. So I guess we'll see. Maybe I'll do- maybe. I don't know. Oh boy. No! Should I put my name? Should I put Rachel? Zach, we have arrived at B2. Zach! Oh good, he's alive! Oh good. Thank goodness. Yeah, really. We there yet? Yeah, but... Then let's get moving. No way, you're not ready. You're still bleeding. Blood? This ain't no biggie to me. Hello! Hi, honey. Oh no. Am I going to get kicks? <laughs> that door right there is my closet. So it does me no good to look over there. <laughs> no, your wounds aren't fully healed. If the, It could be fatal if they open up. I said it's no big deal. Nope. Hmm? Ray. What's wrong with your face? Zack? Oh no. It's alright. He's just passed out. He's still alive. But carrying him any further is just not in the cards. I can't very well stand him up and make him walk. Not to mention the blood. Just stitches won't cut it. I gotta stop the bleeding and disinfect his wounds. I'll go check if there's any medicine somewhere on this floor. Hang in there for a bit. I promise to make myself useful. So just hang tight till then. I gotta hurry. Okay. No, I'm nervous about leaving him too. Sounds like a pipe organ. Oh fuck. The lights came on. This place gives me a weird vibe. Okay. Oh, ghosty goose! Some smoke just came from an overturned candle. The smoke has, has it sort of has a sweet scent. What just happened? I spaced out for a second. No, enough about that. I gotta hurry up and find Zach's medicine. God desires the pure and sincere. Hence I inquire, what art thou? A sacrifice? An angel? Or if thou art someone who seeketh salvation from him, reveal all and repent. Oh no. Oh, that's a, that's a confession booth. I know what those are. I watched a lot of TV. Well, Netflix. And I'm like 23. Of course I know what one is. Never used one. Salvation. This is a door, but it's closed. There's a door, but it's closed. Okay. Bid thy name is written on the door center. Guess it needs my name here. Rachel Gardner. It opened. Makes sense, being a confessional and all. I don't want to do this. I hope there's medicine in there. 
Here I go. Is the sweet scent getting stronger? Maybe my mind's playing tricks on me. There's no way out? Oh no, but Zach's counting on me to find medicine for him. I gotta find the way out. Small vial lies atop a chair. Acquired the vial. The inside, it's empty. I suppose this is an ink vial. Oh! Hello, ghost you. Profess thy sins. Let a vial serve at this testament. Then what dost thou feel upon reflection? A door to perceive thy defilement hath been opened. Just heard something unlock. What does it mean by professing my sin unto this vial? Oh, do I gotta, like, cut myself and... Sh Shit. Some writing emerged on the wall. Profess thy sin. If thy sin is unknown, rip it out from thee. What does... Yeah, sounds like I'm gonna have to bleed. There's nothing but a mirror here. Look well into thyself. Art thou a sacrifice or the lost? Or are you a demon? All God desires is thine unnearing self. What do you mean? Why the writing on the walls? That and look well into thyself, referring to this mirror? My reflection is in the mirror. I can see my reflection. That's all. Art thou naive or simply deceiving thyself? This is the chamber of repentance. If thou wishest to leave this place, pick up thy shard and know thyself. It shattered. A human figure is reflected in the mirror shard. My reflection from earlier is still cast in the mirror. What a bizarre mirror. But I better take this with me. Thy shard is probably referring to the shattered mirror. Acquired mirror shard. If there's nothing else here, I gotta find a way out and search elsewhere. I'm gonna have to cut my arm! Ray's, Ray Ray's gonna have to bleed! I'm gonna have to fill it into the vial. Ah! No! Profess thy sin. If thy sin is unknown, rip it out from thee. Items in your inventory can be used in specific locations. Excuse me. Oh, this is creepy. What is this place? There's no way out again. There's writing. Are thy sins visible? What thou hast committed is blackened out. Hast thou erased thine sins? Or art thou aware of thy sins? If thou hast lost sight of thy sins, fill it anew and accept those which flow out. Fill it anew and accept? Does it mean I should fill the vial that I have? This mirror shard, my face casts a reflection no matter which way I point it. The painting depicts a boy hurriedly running down the road at dusk. Okay. The boy lets out a shriek and he falls down the hole that was created by the rip! I can't fill this vial with a scream. A de painting depicting a ram came out from the rip. A painting of a snake. Rip the painting. The painting depicting an ew came out of- I don't know what that is actually. I don't know what that is. Oh dear. A snake crawled out of the rib into the painting. The snake's too big to fit into this vial. Besides, I gotta be careful not to get bitten. 
The painting depicts a man holding a right hunting rifle. The painting depicting a lamb came out of the rip in the painting. Acquired the lamb. Muzzle of a hunting rifle peeks out from the rip of the painting. Gotta dodge it. Oh! I thought I was dodging the snake! Okay. Okay. I know what to do now. I'm going to... Open this one first. That was close. That gunfire, my vial could have been shattered. And rip him up. Invisible side, the frame is jet black and devoid of a painting. Snake. The painting of the sheep family emerged from within the frame. The painting is now complete and nothing happens. If thou hast lost sight of thy sins, fill it anew and accept those which flow out. Which means I need to damage this painting? Rip it. A red liquid spilled out from the painting. Put the liquid in the vial. Okay, it's not it's not Ray Ray's blood, which is good. That's good. That's good. Oh good, we're back. What just happened? I put the liquid in this vial, so now what? Beats me. It doesn't look like medicine either. There's nothing of use here. I'll go back and have a look elsewhere. There's a door. Oh well, now I can finally get out of here. Here I go. So dark. This is gonna be hard to navigate, let alone search for Zack's medicine. Plus this place also has that sweet scent. What is it with this, this smell? It's sweet, yet has a fishy odor to it. I'm spacing out again. The door's gone. Why does this happen whenever I'm in a hurry? Anyway, I gotta find my way out again. Sack some trouble. Ah! My footprints are bright red. This isn't my blood. But then whose is it? Doesn't matter. There's no time to sit idly by. I gotta hurry and tend to Zack's wounds. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Door. Found it. A door. I can hear music breathing further inside. The sweet scent is getting stronger. Maybe it's a smell, but I'm starting to feel woozy. Yeah, I definitely feel groggy. The pipe organ music. Where is it coming from? Why dost thou repent? Is thine heart, which represents for salvation, genuine? Can thou concentrate, consecrate thine sins to God? Yet thine sins remain unseen in thine heart. If ye seek salvation, reveal thy sins here. Reveal thine sins here? None of this makes any sense to me. But I'll be saved if I do what it says. Does that mean I can get out of here? The organ keys are playing music on their own. A picture of an angel adorns the pipe organ. I possess a vial of red ink. So I think this picture would be wrong. Maybe using this liquid will show my sins. Quiet down. My ears and headache are like crazy.
Oh! Oh, we're back! I think... It's... A church. Well, duh. The organ's playing again. Hi! Who? Oh! Who are you? You're the dude to the floor. Who art thou? Why dost thou hold thy tongue? The question is, who are you? I am the preacher of this church. You may call me Gray. Oh, you're definitely bad. You're a bad man. A preacher? I believe it is your turn. Rachel Gardner. Reverend, are you the resident of this floor? Oh no, I suppose to you I'm the resident of this place. Never fear, my child. I still have yet to determine your nature. Until I have learned more about you, I shan't pass any sort of judgment. That's fine. Well then, what brings you here? I'm looking for something to stop bleeding. A hemostat, is it? That is what that Zack fellow requires, is it not? Uh oh That's right, but how did you know that? Of course, I'm more familiar with them than anyone. Regrettably, there is nothing here for treating wounds. Such remedial items could only be found on B5. Daniel's floor. Dr. Danny. Peepers. Okay. Oh no, then how do I get back below? You desire to return below? Yeah? Such a wish should not prove or do it is. Come, and I shall see it through. Go with you. Yes, my child, I know the way. Can I trust you? My word is my bond. Yet before we go, you must pa first pass a bit of a test. A test? It be not a toilsome task, my child. I'm merely desiring to learn more about you. I see not an immediate answer. Let your heart choose. I shall remain here for a while. So he's the only one who knows the way to get back below. I'll go check on Zack and see how he's doing. I passed through this place, but it sort of feels like I may have skipped several rooms. Uh-oh. Zack. Shit. Ugh. Zack, hold still. Hey, Ray. Where'd you go? I was out looking for something to stop your bleeding. By yourself? What the hell's wrong with you? I mean, I can't very well force you to move now, can I? Plus, you are sound asleep. Idiot, just whack me till I get up then. I can't do that. Man, you're stubborn. And so did you find anything? No, but if I go da down to B5, there should be medical supplies. Huh? Going back? Now? Yeah, but if I go... Zack! Relax for one second in your life. Zip it, what am I, five years old? My size heavy as hell. It doesn't make a lick of sense. No, you rest. I'll go down below to get your medicine. Zack, you lie down and take it easy. Huh? Zack, you'll die. Your sight being heavy is your body telling you that something's not right. So don't assume I'm a goner. Got that? You know I won't dose die so easily, right? But... Pretty please, Zack, give me the chance to actually help you. Please? Don't think for a second that I'm gonna let you just because you said please. Please? I'll cave. Anyway, how are you gonna get down there? Oh, um... I'll manage. Can you really manage yourself, Bazio? Oh dear. Yeah. Fine. Right now, I can't even carry my scythe. I'll probably just be extra badges like this anyway. No. What else would I be, then? But if you think you'll survive, then go for it. You're right. My stomach's killing me, and I can't move. I'm gonna get some shut eye. Okay. 
I don't want to go back to Dr. Danny. I know he's dead, but how do I know he's really dead? Like, what if, like, the floor is reset and he comes back to life? I don't want to do that. Hey. While you're at it, hit B6, too. Hmm? B6 where I found you first. I want you to bring me something from there. Got it. Zack passed out again. With an injury like that, I don't- Why didn't he tell me what he wanted me to get? Tell me what you want me to get, dude. Come on. I won't- Fuck you. I'll go see that preacher. I don't want to go see the preacher. I'm saving, though, because fuck that. Alright, I still got ten minutes before I have to stop this episode. Hi. Take me down. Hast thou come to a decision? I need to go back down to B5 to get some medicine, so I'll take your test. So be it. Let us be off then. Oh, and do me a favor. Please don't do anything to Zack. Of course. Why is it I smell a sweet scent coming from him? The creepy creature guy is gonna kill me. He's forcing me to go back down. I don't want to go back down to Peepers. Fuck peepers. Casey, okay, now it does me good to look at the camera. Because there's my husband. Hi, husband. You need to keep a watchful eye on me. No harm shall come to him by my hand. Yeah, by your hand. What about the stupid scent causing delusions and shit? What do you... Shall we get going, Rachel Gardner? Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, Ray Ray. Poor baby girl. Ugh! My heart hurts for her. Why do you help Zack cling to life? If he were to die, I'd be lost. Be lost? What do you mean? It's because I want Zack to kill me. Zack made an oath to God. Interesting. So that is your incentive. Heavens. Wait, oh! You're gonna kill Rachel. No, not okay. That's not okay. It's not. Do you want me to call him something else so you don't think I'm talking to you? It is coming from him. Oh, Ray Ray. Oh, baby girl. Rachel. Rachel Gardner. Well, for now we have arrived at B3. What is the matter? It's nothing. I just had something in my eyes, that's all. Henceforth, all I can do is offer you sage advice. No need to be intimidated. It shan't prove difficult. To operate the elevator leading down from here, Bound must find its mechanism and press the switch. The B3 switch is located in the jail. If you can press it, then I shall open up the elevator. The jail. That's where Zack stomped on that arm sticking out from one of the cells. Time to get going. Hi. Kathy's penchant for deception has made floor B3 more trap than other, any other. She was gifted at using them to reach people emotionally, and thus lead them to seek self-reproach and salvation. Though she always was a bit of a spendthrift, let us call it one of her charms, shall we? Hence, there could still be some here self-seeking reproach and salvation. Now then, I will go ahead and wait by the elevator that ascends to the floors below. I'm fairly sure the jail was further down this way. I gotta make it quick. She's gone! Kathy's fucking body is gone! Oh, no. Why? She's fucking here. It's locked. Yeah, I am 
bars are open. I should be able to get to the jail cells through here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shit, she's here. I still hear voices. This isn't the only place where that arm looking thing popped out. Something's there. Is that the switch he mentioned? Can I reach it? Just a little further. Oh! Run! Okay! Oh! What were those things? It doesn't look like they'll follow me through here. I can't get into the jail like this. Those things are in the way. I can't use my gun anymore. What do I do now? I got it. This floor has traps all over the place. The jail is over there. There should at least be a way to deal with them when they come out of their selves. I'll check the Ah, oh, you're telling- I gotta go to the- should be able to bring up security video here. It's this room. And the device mechanism for this room. This is harder than I thought, isn't it? There we are. From here I can look at the screen and shoot them. I wonder if she was shooting would be escapees with this. Could that be why there's so many of them here? Short of time, I gotta hurry. I just need to align the crosshairs and press this button. Then I can safely enter this room. you can pass through safely. Well, <laughs> what a terrible thing you've done. Disposing of those who will lament in pain and suffering like yesterday's garbage. And yet you show no emotion. You'll stop at nothing to have Zach take your life. Rachel, you truly are a sinful woman. <laughs> what was that? It's gone? I don't get it. At any rate, I gotta hurry. I shot them all, so I shouldn't be obstructed anymore. This is not the time to worry about that now. Okay, so that's all the time I have for this episode, guys. Um, hopefully in the next one we'll be able to save Zack. But I guess we'll see. Anyway, uh, say bye-bye to my husband. And Chrissy's ignoring me. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Have fun and all that jazz. <laughs>